my grandmother being a portrait painter and owning art galleries and my grandfather a photographer and my mom a designer and dancer and uh, who designed for a lot of successful groups in the 60s, 70s and early 80s. Um, my dad an architect, sculptor, our dad. Uh, uh, so you know we, we definitely have like just that creative DNA. Yeah. Um, I feel like my mom was an amazing illustrator, just line drawings, doing mm -hmm. her designs. Her designs are just the, the drawings themselves, mm -hmm. not just the clothes, but the actual drawings themselves were great. And then uh, Tony, our dad, when I was a little kid, I mean, he was, uh, it was, it was all about art from the first minute I can remember. Mm -hmm. So it's always been the mainstay of the whole family. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of good music, mm -hmm. very important, because yeah. we raised on tons and tons of good music, is which is like, sort of how I got to be a musician. What kind of music is it? Everything. Oh. But I mean, like, in, for me, in England, it was all British rock and roll, because oh. my dad and mm -hmm. our dad and his two brothers were um, hardcore rock and roll fans, so mm -hmm. it was all about the Who and the Stones and the Kinks and the Yardbirds and that kind of shit. And then when we officially moved back, to, moved to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. it was a much broader uh, palette. There was, mm -hmm. it went from The Doors to Marvin Gaye mm -hmm. to, uh, like my mom was doing the Pointer Sisters clothes at one point, and to, to uh, uh, Jimmy Cliff to mm -hmm. classical music, to James Brown. So there was just tons and tons, but it was all good, you know? Yeah. That was a big thing. I never had any aspirations to be a musician or a rock star or anything. It was really sort of funny that I picked up the guitar because I always listened to music and there was always music around and I definitely knew what I liked and what I didn't like and, you know, had a different taste of music, but I just never thought to be a musician. 